Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Azure Active Directory, we'll see how to enable MFA for users all by using conditional access policy. And in order to test this, I'm going to use a user with the name user1. And just as a prerequisite, in order to use conditional access policy, you need to have a paid version for of, uh, Azure AD. In my case, I'm using Premium 2, but in case you're running Premium 1, this should be applicable. So if I go under Manage and Users, I have a couple of users. And for today's testing, I'm going to use the user with the name User1. So let's see what's the experiences without uh, enabled any MFA in the organization. So I'm going to sign in with the name User1, provide the credential. And I'm able to access without having to do a multi-factor authentication because I have not enabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this and we'll see how the experience is from the user side. So I'm just going to sign out and go back to my Azure AD. And uh, if I go into the default directory under manage, you see I have the security tab. So I'm going to expand this and anything to do with the security on Azure Active Directory, you'll find under this tab. So the first option is conditional access. So let me just go and uh, expand this and add new policy. I'm going to name this MFA test for user one. The assignment, if I go expand users in the group, you can do this for entire users or groups. But in our case, we are testing this for a specific user. So I'm going to pick user one, select it. With the user one selected, I'll go to cloud apps or actions. And you can apply this for the entire applications which this user has access to, or you can only go to selected apps. So let me just pick Office 365 and go and select this. And then after that, under conditions, we have more options. We have device platform location, client app, device state, and actually user risk, sign in risk. So all these options are there which you can configure. So if you want to have this for a specific kind of uh, operating system like Windows Access, you can enable that, you can configure this. You can also have a sign in risk. You can enable uh, what category you want to assign it to, device platform, I already explained. You can also specify what locations. So in case the customer is accessing this from a corporate network, they don't need to provide any second factor authentication, but if they're not, then you enable that and also the option for client apps. Device state is in preview right now, but we are not gonna do that right now because we are just doing for testing purpose. I'm going to say done. And under access control, you can also go and specify grant access after they have enabled the multi-factor authentication. So I'm gonna pick this. And also for multiple control, you can select require all the selected control or require one of the selected controls. So I'm just gonna do the default and you can also do further control from the session point of view. Use app enforced restriction, use conditional access app control, sign in frequency, persistent browser section. So I'm just going to pick the first option. But these are all the different categories which are there. And uh, you can go and say select it on you can only do report only so if they don't uh, satisfy the requirements it will be only reported but what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the button for enabling the policy and click on create so you can see that uh, the policy was created successfully and it has appeared here and you can create multiple policies now let's see now how the experience is from the user perspective so previously we were able to access it I'm just going to try to sign in again now. I 
And here you can see that uh, your organization need more information to keep your account secure. So let me just go and select next. And it is asking me to provide, uh, select, start by getting the app. So you can go and uh, download the app or I can also set up different method also. So let me just try to go here. And what I want is I want the phone in this case. I don't have the app, so I'm just going to go and click on confirm and it is asking me to provide the phone number. So let's go and provide that. Fix the code. Okay, the code has uh, appeared on my phone. I'm going to say next now after inputting the code. And it says that uh, the phone was just uh, successfully done. Okay. And now you can see that uh, as a user now I have complete access. It has asked me to verify myself by using MFA. So this way we saw how the user experiences after you have enabled multi-factor audit authentication all by utilizing conditional access policy. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.